If I was a tractor and you were a plow, I'd definitely hook up with you. I'm just trying to be the John to yo deer. What's up, guys? And welcome to Ranch Simulator, baby. Dude, I am so excited about this game. I've been watching it for a while. It's been on my Steam wish list for I don't even know how long. Finally came out. It's an early access, but it came out today for the public. And uh, I'm excited to see what it's all about. It looks pretty fun. I, I don't know. We're, we're going to see what happens. Let's just go ahead and create our character. Get into it. And uh, you guys can let me know what you think. Oh, look at this handsome, strapping young gentleman. All right, so we're going to be a male. We've got some different presets and stuff that we might be able to look through. So we've got one, two, three. Ooh, I kind of like that guy right there. He looks, he likes like a, a good farmer. Just down home southern boy. Ooh, look at that mustache. We want to be a, a clean cut city slicker like this. We want to make sure that we have, uh, you know, some unkempt farmer hair here. Ooh, do we like the long a little bit? I kind of like that. We've got the handlebar mustache. Hair color looks good. Um, eyes, nose, mouth, jaw, body. Should we change up our body a little bit so we can go older? I'm going to go ahead and keep us young. Muscle masks, we're out there, you know, fixing fences and tending the cattle and stuff like that. Very muscular. We could go kind of big, but I'm thinking, I mean, we don't want to be skinny. We eat grandma's pie, so we're going to be, you know, maybe somewhere, somewhere in there. Some apparel. Looks like we've got a t-shirt, shirt. Casual shirt, hoodie, suit jacket. Why would I be in a suit jacket? We're gonna go with a casual shirt, Hawaiian themed, kind of interesting. Ooh, I like, I like that. Okay, that's perfect. And then can we take a look at our lower body? I mean, probably jeans. Looks like we've got some different jean options. I'm thinking maybe like a lighter wash, kind of a light wash. That's not bad. Footwear. We've got socks. We've got sneakers. Sandals, boots, definitely some boots. Some black boots, some beige boots. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it's black boots. Last thing I want to do here, I want to get us a nice tan. Obviously, if we're out there tending to the fields and stuff a lot, we're going to want some sort of a nice tan. I'm thinking more on the, the orangish side of things. If we go like that, some saturation. Ooh, see, I don't want to get too, too tan, but we definitely, we want to be, dude, this is, uh, the level of detail here is, is, Kind of incredible. You can adjust your hair stubble. I think that's good. I like it. So we've got basic movements here. We can obviously walk around. We can sprint. We can crouch. We can jump. We can change our camera view to go shoulder to shoulder. Or I think if we hold it, we can go into first person mode. So that's kind of nice. All right. Looks good to me. Follow the blue icon and read the letter. Let's go see what we've got going on. We're homesteading out here, baby. we got to live off the land. we got to get some cattle and some... Other, you know, animals, get some tractors. This is going to be a great time. So we can open up this door, see what this letter's all about, see what we've got going on. Hello, grandchild. If you read this letter, then you agree to fulfill my last will and came to our family ranch. It is desolate because I did not have the time and opportunity to deal with it. Coming to the house, I left a few things in the attic that'll help you. I believe in you, your loving grandfather. Grandpappy, we're going to make you proud, bro. All right, so we've got our quest log with Jay. We want to turn on the radio on the wall and find the tent. This is our house over here. We've got our tent. Already found our tent, so we can hold R to save the game. Go ahead and take care of that. Sleep until morning and save your progress anytime. Sounds good. Found the tent. We got to go inside. All right, go ahead and oh, okay. It opens. It opens out. I wasn't ready for that. All right, so it looks like maybe in here. Turn on the radio on the wall. Find grandfather's chest in the attic. Remove the obstacle and find the chest upstairs. Did you guys see any stairs anywhere? I did not. It might be... Okay. So we obviously have a, a work... Oh, the, the stairs are back here. We have a work in progress. This is, this is uh, you know, not quite complete. So we've got a mattress in the way. To remove items... Select the demolish mode in the circle menu. So we're going to be able to go to demolish. Let's go ahead and take that thing out. I mean, take out the trash. I don't think we want to start removing walls and stuff yet, but uh, we'll, we'll hang in there. Up into the attic we go. Grandpa Pao's chest, baby. Shoot, we got to be careful. Don't want to fall. Got to crouch here. Let's see what we've got going on. Ah, all right. He's got himself a revolver, some ammo, some money, and another letter. Here we go. Take this revolver. In the forest, there are many wild animals. It can cause you trouble. I have less money and ammo. One more thing. You'll need a car. 
The garage, the entrance, the ranch, there's an old UTV. So it looks like we're gonna need to find some wheels, some seats, a bumper guard, and a fuel tank. Dude, this... I'm kind of excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. So obviously, you know, over time, we're gonna build this house up. We're gonna start living off of our own two hands and, you know, kind of learn to be a homesteader here, baby. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So let's get out of the house. Obviously, this thing needs a ton of work. I mean, we could, we could start to kind of, you know, pick some things up. Dude, this is nice. You guys remember uh, House Flipper? It's kind of House Flipper built into a, a ton of other stuff going on. Should we get rid of these two? I mean, all this is trash. Let's just start to build up the curb appeal a little bit. Obviously, got some work to do, but uh, we're going to be fine. So here we go. We need four wheels, two seats, bumper guard, and a fuel tank. So we're going to run around. What is this? Ah, there's a wheel right there. So we're going to be able to pick that up, and we're going to have to run it all the way over to the UTV. Dude, I'm I'm excited about this, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So we can go ahead and install that on there. Looks good. We're going to be able to pick up the bumper guard. Throw this guy in the front. Oop, oop. Hold on. Hold on now. How come this ain't working? Oh, eat it install. My bad. Okay, pressing the wrong button. Another wheel here. Gonna be able to throw this on the, the left front. Grab a seat down here. Now, Pow Pow, how, how come you had the, the parts to the UTV all over the place, man? Get around in here. We've got another seat. And the game is, is beautiful. Look at wh where are we? Obviously, I mean, these are like kind of fir trees, so we're somewhere up north. It definitely gets, it gets cold up here. It's going to be kind of interesting. I don't know if we have seasons or anything like that, but uh, got our driver's seat. Grab a wheel, throw that on there, and then it looks like we've got a couple things outside. There's the fuel tank, and then there's a wheel along the back side right there. So we're going to be able to, where do you put the fuel tank in at? Right there. And then last but not least, we got a wheel leaning up against the side here. Got ourselves a nice UTV. Going to be able to go off-road and do our thing. Quest completed. Can we open this up? Yes, sir. Jerry can's been placed. Okay, let's pick this up. Start placement. Confirm the placement. And then you can rotate it. Okay, nice. All right, so can we enter the car? F to start her up. All right. So where is the gas station? You want me to go to the gas station? It says gas is, gas is this way. Off to the left. Let's go see if we can go... Fill this thing on up with gas so we can get to work. Dude, some of these mountains are insane. I'm thinking like a Montana, maybe. Maybe somewhere more out west. I'm not sure. Where do you guys think this, this place is? All right, so we made it to the gas station. Let's pick this up. How do we use... We probably have to have to pick up the thing on the side. Hold on, I'm going to place this back in there. So if we if we grab this right here pick this up uh we could put it in and then how do we start fueling nice look at that our money's going up baby but we're fine we can watch this thing fill up how big is this looks like it's going to cost us about 40 bucks to fill this up all right sounds good let me pick this up and then where shoot i'm gonna put this back in there is it on the other side where do we put the gas in at Oh, it's, it's probably right into the gas canister right below us, right here. All right, insert it. Oh, oh, okay. That's not what we meant. Pick this up. Insert. Fuel her up, baby. All right. Be able to watch this thing go. How do we know when it's done? I guess we'll just, we'll let her go all the way. 25 is all it took. Start her up. We're going to go talk to the car salesperson. Is UTV ain't enough? I'm gonna need me a, a nice F-150 King Ranch with the heated seats and the oh, backup cameras and trailer cameras and stuff like that. This is, I mean, we got, we got like a little bustling town here. Hold on, let me, let me make sure I park this thing right. Boom, there it is. Go ahead and get out. Let's go see what we've got going on. Ooh, oh, look at this beauty. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. How you doing, sir? Welcome. Here you can buy a car, customize it. For all our new customers, we install radio players and their four-wheelers for only 10 bucks. Just drive into the garage behind the building and install the radio. If you want to buy a vehicle, use the computer in front of me. All cars differ in technical characteristics as well as capacity. See the computer for more details. How do I buy it? You use the computer, of course. All right, sounds good to me. Let me take a look at what some of our options are. Obviously, we don't have that much money yet. So, we've got the UTV, two pigs capacity, 
200 bucks. I don't need to buy that. Two pigs or a pig and a cow for 1400. We've got a, an ATV, four wheeler. We've got this little thing here, a little pickup, small truck. Oh, we can carry four pigs or four cows there. Little sedan, SUV, do some off-roading. All right, sounds good to me. We've got $400, so we are not gonna be able to afford that anytime soon. However, what we are gonna be able to do is hop in this bad boy, start her up, bring her around back and put a radio in here for 10 bucks so we can listen to country. Extras, radio. Sounds good to me. Upgrade. Now we're gonna go out, we're gonna talk with the seller. So we've got, uh, this is our map here. We've got a car shop, a gas station, a general store. This is our ranch right here, and then there's a hardware store down here. It looks like, uh, I'm assuming the seller is gonna be the, the hardware store. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. We're fine. Should we just do some off-roading? I don't know if there's any, I mean, Gre Pow Pow did tell us to watch out. Here in these these forests, so maybe we don't want to go that way. Um, I mean this this is okay. We're we're getting ourselves in a bad situation, Trev. Let's uh let's let's use the main roads. Keep in mind we do have a limited fuel gauge down there in the bottom right. We do have the jerry can that we could potentially use, but uh I don't know. We we gotta be careful. Okay, so the cellar is off to the left here. I'm gonna take this road. Woo! It is, uh, it's, it's a bit finicky, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish the, the objective, oh, it's the general store we're gonna be going to. Wish the objective showed up on the map. That would be, that would be helpful. Dude, this is nice. I like having, like, a gas gauge. We gotta be careful about that. We can't just go all willy-nilly to every objective. We gotta make sure we're paying attention to what's going on. Don't leave our vehicle running or anything like that. Try to save gas where we can. So let me pull up to the general store here. Let me see what kind of... Business we're gonna be able to do today. What y'all got in here? Open this up. What do we have? Ah, you could buy animals. Chicken for 50 bucks, rooster for 250, so we could get our chickens started. Cows, pigs, Scotlands, sheep, horse, goat, longhorn, mattresses, axes, water to do this. Okay. This game is this game is legit. There's actually a lot going on. We got coffee and cola as well. How you doing, girl? Welcome. To make a purchase, use a terminal in the next room. Purchased items will appear in the area to the left of me. Livestock will be outside. For more information on livestock, view the glossary. Sell items, place them in the area to the left of me, and confirm the sale using the terminal. So it sounds like we can buy things from them, or we could uh, chop down trees and come sell them, come sell them, you know, eggs and stuff like that. So hold on, let me see what we need. Axe, crowbar, hammer, egg basket, and two chickens. Sounds, sounds like a, a fun time. So axe, crowbar, hammer... And two chickens. What kind of chickens we want? We want white chickens, black chickens, or gold chickens? I kind of like the gold. I'm going to go with two of those. Don't forget the egg basket here. Take a look at our cart. Axe, crowbar, hammer, two chickens, and an egg basket. Total comes to 180 bucks. Sounds like a reasonable, uh, reasonable price. So it looks like we're going to be able to pick these things up. Go ahead and give me this hammer. Give me this basket. Give me this axe. And give me this crowbar. We got the chickens out back. Ooh, it's starting to get a little bit dark, huh? Oh, maybe not. Not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the basket in here. We got our chickens. Go ahead and pick you up. Just carry it by the throat. No big deal. Um, I guess I'll just place you in here. You aren't going to jump out, are you? Hopefully not. Pick you up as well. Y'all are going to give me so many great eggs. I'm going to make some good breakfasts. We're looking pretty good so far. It's been an eventful first day. We got our chicks in the back. Um, I mean... Henrietta and 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 Chelsea are the, the, the two chickens. Put the chickens somewhere on the ranch. So we're just gonna let them roam free. I guess if we have food, they're gonna continue coming back. I would hope. I would hope they wouldn't leave us. So I'm gonna say. I mean, uh, Henrietta, I, I'm I'm just gonna put you right here. And Chelsea, let me let me grab you real quick. I'm gonna put you over. I, I gotta stop with the, the the voice. Find a bag of grains. And then pour food on the point. So we got a bag of grains inside here. Wish we had some sort of a flashlight. It definitely got a, a little bit a little bit dark here. So we're gonna pick up this bag of grains. We're gonna go place it out. So this is this is where good old H and C are gonna be hanging out. I can't see a, a dang thing, man. I'm gonna drop it outside here. Let's uh let's go ahead and save the game and sleep. New day, 7.55 a.m. Time to get after it. Let me go ahead and pick this up. All right, we got to pour food on the point. I'm not sure. Oh, is it tab maybe? Build, gun, hand. No, okay. 
So we can we can scroll it, we can place it. Ah, pour on the grounds. So we gotta place it and then pour it on the grounds. Find a bucket and water tank, put a full bucket of water in a place accessible to the chickens so they can drink it. Need you over here, we need you eating. Bam, right there. Chelsea, get back here. Come on, girl. May I say you look mighty fine this morning. Those, you know, little cluckety cluck things are, are looking fantastic. Let me go ahead and place you next to the food. I know that's like your favorite thing in the world. How to get girls, just take take them to, to eat. All right, so we, um, we want to find the bucket, which is over here. Let's go ahead and refill this thing. Uh, water tank has been found. Okay. And water tank installed anywhere on the ranch. So I'm going to I mean, can we just do it like right here? And then bucket of water poured. So I'm going to pick up the bucket, come over here, install it. Perfect. Got to wait till it's full all the way. Pick it back up. We're going to be able to bring this thing over to the chickens. I'm going to place it down on the ground near the chickens. So they're going to be able to eat and drink and do their thing. Boom. Look at that. All right. Ways to keep girls happy. Feed them and water them. It's easy. Pretty much nothing else. Lawn mowers somewhere on the ranch. We found this bad boy. All right, let's go ahead and use it. Fire up. How do we, uh, how do I mow? Are we already mowing? We're kind of mowing a bit of a patch. Are we mowing a certain area? Oh, we got to go over here to mow. Okay. Wasn't sure how to like lower the blade or something like that. Dude, this, I, I mean, this is fantastic. Who doesn't want to live this, you know, lifestyle, baby? You actually start like building up your ranch and we'll get cattle and we'll go out hunting and... All kinds of stuff like that. Eat a cut tree. Tree's down. Let's chop this thing. Chop into wood. We're going to be able to pick these up and move them. I'm sure that's going to be part of what we need to uh, to be able to build our house. So I'm going to move those out of the way. It seems like it just wants me to do this little, little area here. But obviously the tree was preventing us from, from finishing. There it is. Build a coop. I like it. Shout out coop. A medium chicken coop's gonna cost us 250 bucks. We could do a small chicken coop. I mean, eight hens for the medium. I say we just do it now. Bam, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna open and close the door. I guess just leave it open for now. Hopefully there aren't any, any foxes in the hen house or anything like that. Hey, come here. I'm not sure which one you are. Hey, come here. Hey, hey, come here. Come, come check this out. Let me put you in here. What do you think about that? Where's Chelsea? Chelsea's always off somewhere, ain't she? So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna demolish the first floor, second floor, and the attic. I mean, this is this is gonna be kind of fun. We just wanna demolish everything, huh? We're just we're just gonna start just start going to work. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Alright, so we're gonna remove all the trash from every wall. And then start just busting down these walls, baby. Are we gonna be able to pick? and choose what we oh oh shoot get rid of that get rid of this you got to get rid of each part before you start taking it down now do we are we sure okay we can't do exterior walls get rid of all the extras though exterior walls are off limits take out the windows do we want to demolish the doors no highlighted objects first yeah we can't do the exterior walls so we're going to take out literally everything else you just got to go piece by piece and just start destroying this bad boy. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is actually kind of a kind of a ton of work. Like it, it actually takes quite a while. But we're we're getting there. It's just it's it's kind of peculiar about what it lets you what you, what you could take down and what you can't. And like you gotta do it in certain orders. Like you can't you can't take take down the wallpaper unless the, the lamp is off the wall. And then once you do that, then you can get rid of the wallpaper behind it and all kinds of stuff like that. But we're, we're making our way here. Even the doors got to go, bro. The doors and the frames, everything. The awnings, everything is just going. The stairs, I don't want these stairs. I, I don't know if we're going overboard here, but I, we, we don't have the, the first floor demolished yet. So I'm, I'm just doing everything I can. Oh, shoot. Okay, I understand why it wasn't letting us finish it. We are literally taking the house down, not even to the studs, down to the foundation. We are completely annihilating it, and it wouldn't it wouldn't let us destroy everything else because we had to do the higher the higher levels first. Bro, this we're we're killing everything. The whole house is gonna be gone. We're gonna be able to be able to rebuild this from, from square one. So we we got that. Now let me see. 
Ah, oh, we gotta get that thing down down at the back end. Dude, this is I, I I'm low-key kind of loving this. This is great. Grandpa Paul's chest, goodbye. See you later. Chimney, goodbye. Oh, just hammering the heck out of this thing. This is great. Alright, now we're gonna be able to demolish the entire top floor. Now we wanna go through, we wanna get everything here that we aren't gonna be able to get from the bottom again. So we wanna make sure we get all the the you know wallpaper all the windows even if the window looks nice she gone it's gotta go now we're gonna get every outstanding wall not gonna be able to get that yet because we have to finish the whole second floor first before we're gonna be able to move on to the first floor it's like we've got our first rainstorm coming in here which is kind of cool i guess let me make sure we get rid of these any oh oh okay there goes the second story roof all right um now we're gonna be able to take Take off literally every wall here and, and, like I said, straight up down to the foundation. They look hungry and a little bit thirsty. Hold on. Please, please go eat. Maybe they just... Uh, they're both... Ne uh, still not really eating and drink. Oh, she's she's eating there. I, I, I bet that one's Chels. I don't want to go through all this and then have our chickens not survive because we're not paying attention to them because we're, we're just tearing every single wall off of this thing. One, two, and three. I think is that first floor. It won't. It won't let us remove this. We have to demolish. I don't want to demolish this. Let me turn it off. Turn it on. Shoot. What do I? What do I do? I guess we'll demolish the radio. First floor is still not dem. Oh. Oh, we had to do that. Okay. Old house is down. Literally. Nothing left. Nothing at all. Now we want to. We want to build a foundation. But I think we're going to save that for the next episode because it's kind of dark anyway. So hopefully our chickens start eating. We do have a, uh, a nice location for a new house. We're going to be able to build this thing up, I guess, however we want it. We're obviously going to have to chop down trees and stuff to be able to make that happen. Probably run some errands into town. I mean, good news is we've got all the tools we need. We've got hammers, crowbars, axes. And these two guns, baby. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm actually genuinely really excited for this game. I think this is going to be a ton of fun. So uh, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.